So I want to show you how in uh, InDesign CS5, how to take content and be able to preserve the text formatting and copy paste it into a web page. It's actually kind of a cool little little tip here. Um, the thing about it though, you guys, is that we're going to export for Dreamweaver. So you can use this in Dreamweaver CS5 if you want to. CS4 works okay. Um, the thing is, I'm not going to try and preserve the entire layout of the InDesign file. So you guys can see out here that I've got this really simple document, but I want to keep the text formatting so we can use it on a web page, like a blog or you know anything, whatever. So I'm going to make sure nothing's selected. We're going to go up to File, go to Export for Dreamweaver. Now, it's going to say, okay, well, where do you want to stick it? I'm going to stick it on my desktop. Um, I'm going to call it Dream Tips or Tip or something like that. I've already got one out there, so I'll just call it Tip. It's going to save an HTML page. If we had something selected, it would only export the selected content, which is kind of cool. It would only select, like, let's say that text right there, it would export that. Now, the thing I'm looking for here is to make sure that I don't care about my images. I just want the text. So I'm going to say original images. They're going to come up as, as blank or, or uh, broken images. Go to advanced and make sure that embedded CSS is on and that you have include style definitions and preserve local overrides selected. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to try and keep all of your formatting. So it's going to try and keep all your paragraph and character styles. Typically, they become classes, if you're familiar with that, in Dreamweaver on the web page. And it's going to preserve local overrides. Like if you guys have uh, bolding or italic or anything like that, it'll try and preserve that stuff. So that's it. I'm just going to export it. It's going to take a second here. There we go. XHTML. Let me switch over to Dreamweaver. It just made an HTML page, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. So I'll go to File Open, get out there, and open that thing up. Where is it? Dream Tip. There we go. Open it up. And take a look. If I go to Design View, if you guys are in Dreamweaver now, I'm in Dreamweaver CS5, you can see all the formatted text. Check that out. I know it's not pretty. I know. <laughs> I have a lot of people that scream at me. Well, why doesn't it look exactly like it did in InDesign? It's, this is not what we're trying to use this for. Now, next step is to either have a web page you guys already created in another site or something like that, or a new one and open it up. So I'm going to create a new page, and I'm going to go to Blank Page under File New, HTML Type, and I'll create just a, use a starter page, two column, left sidebar, header, and footer. I'll have it create a new CSS file. This is typically, if you guys are going to use a starter page, you want to do that. I'll click Create, and it just says, where do you want to save the styling? For, for right now, you guys, if you created a website, a site in Dreamweaver, save it in that folder. If you're just messing around like I'm doing here, put it somewhere where you're going to save it. So I'll put it on my desktop for the moment. I'll click Save. There's my page. Now, I'm going to switch over to the Dream Tip page. I'm going to select some of this content, but what I want to do, you guys are going to see these broken images. I'm going to get rid of that. And there might be a return in there, too, and I'll get rid of it. I'm going to select all this text here. Just go to Copy. Go over to my Untitled page, select some text in there, and paste. And if you take a look, there's the formatting. That's kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> if you if you guys want to keep the same formatting, you can do something like this. Now, if you are a web developer, it's not the best styling it uses. I mean, it uses classes and things like that. So you're going to see, as a matter of fact, it uses like a class called subhead on this paragraph, which, whatever. Um, I'd probably use a heading, but there you go. You'll see here that it actually uses span tags in some cases. It uses paragraphs with character styles. It also copies and pastes the styling in this document. So you can see right here the styling. This is, these are styles that are now internal to this page. So here's another thing. If you guys did that, if you pasted and you want to just keep the formatting and you want to put this in your style sheet, you can literally just shift click or select all this and drag it to your style sheet. Now you got to make sure it's in the style sheet. And I'll probably put it somewhere towards the top up here. Let go, and there we go. It's now no longer internal in the document. It's actually in my style sheet and can be used by other pages. That's the best part. So there we go. Just a quick tip, quick way to be able to preserve formatting if you guys are you know, in a pinch or you want to keep it, and put it in your web page from InDesign CS5.